So the common effect occurs when a solution contains two substances that share a common ion. Like for example, uh, in a mixture of acetic acid HC2 H3O2 and sodium acetate so in a mixture of um, these two substances we can see that we have the C2H3O2 part in both substances so the presence of such an ion in both substances of a mixture actually affects the dissociation of uh, the substances in that mixture. So for example, so if we have a solution of only this acetic acid in water, like HC2H3O2, if we have a mixture of this acetic acid and water in the solution we will have uh, two ions like h3o plus and c2 h3 o2 minus but when we have this substance or this electrolyte present in the mixture or in the solution this uh, electrolyte will also dissociate like this in a C2H3O2 this will dissociate also to give sodium ion and C2H3O2 minus ion so from here we can see that we are having this ion from both the acid and this electrolyte which is also a conjugate base of this acid so since uh, we are having this ion from both the acid and the conjugate base to to control the control the presence of this ion in the solution we will have a low a lesser lesser dissociation of this acid in presence of this substance or electrolyte that means that the presence of this NaC2H3O2 will decrease the dissociation of this acid and such an effect where due to the presence of a common ion due to the presence of a common ion the dissociation of an weak acid or a weak base uh, get reduced or the dissociation is decreased that is the effect which is called common ion effect